All right, what is up, guys? Back with another video for you on Gray Zone Warfare. Today, we're going to be going over some of the settings you need to make sure you maximize your frames in game. I know a lot of people are talking about performance issues with the game and frame drops and not being able to run it. Um, I definitely think that their minimum recommended specs need to be updated um, because I do feel like it's affecting more players that think they can play it and they really can't on their older systems. Uh, my specs for reference is a 4070 and an i7-13700K with 32 gigs of RAM. Um, and then obviously just, you can base it off of that. I know some people run 30 series and they're getting over hundred frames. So not too familiar about 20 series and 10 series, but as a basis, this is what I'm running on my graphics. And I'm also remember streaming on this PC as a single PC streaming rig. And I'm still getting about 90 to hundred frames when I'm streaming. So this is what I use. And this is what I want to go over with you guys. Monitor, obviously you leave it as your main monitor, the one you're playing on windowed mode i personally use windowed full screen especially because i use game mode um, windows does a really good job of optimizing but if i need all tab out or something like that um, this does a good job of being able to uh, keep it so i can tab back into the game really quick display resolution make sure that's set to your default resolution vertical fov however you feel comfortable wherever you want to put it i personally like 69 i like the number vsync off brightness i haven't played with these because i actually use nvidia control panel for my color settings which i'll show you after we go through the game settings Gamma all at a 100 frame rate limit. I actually cap it at 240, but you can uncap it um, up to you however you want to do it. Frame rate, frame rate limit in the background is 60 FPS, but this is just really if you tab that, what it's going to look like. Quality presets set to custom. 3D resolution, it's set with NVIDIA DLSS, so you can't really change it. Global illumination medium, shadow quality low, texture resolution medium, effects medium, reflections medium foliage quality low um, shadow and foliage will really affect your performance so make sure you have those on low if anything else um, next on post processing have that on low motion blur none i don't know anybody who likes motion blur if you like motion blur please tell me in the comments that you like motion blur i am very curious to know why sharpening i have it at zero um, but that's because i also have nvidia dlss sharpness on so colorblind mode off colorblind mode strength 10 but it doesn't really matter because it's off anti-aliasing upscaling method dlss anti-aliasing quality that's on medium that's obviously locked with dlss frame gen on but i'll show you a setting here that you're going to need to make sure that it is on in order for frame gen to work nvidia dlss super resolution quality sharpness i have it set at 68 you can trick it a little bit higher you can take it a little bit lower however you feel the need for the game reflex low latency on and Fidelity FX, all that stuff is locked because I'm not using uh, Fidelity FX cast right now. So this is what I'm using right now. Um, over the next few days, I might put out another guide, but this is what I'm using right now. And it's giving me about 90 to 110 frames in the game currently. And it's running good enough that I don't have any issues with it. I actually haven't crashed once in the 10 hours I've played today. So just keep that in mind. That is my personal in-game settings. I don't think there's anything else to show you on game. Um, this is my audio settings. I can show you that if you're curious about it. But one thing I want to show you now is over on the window settings side. Okay, so the setting I was talking about that you want to make sure you have turned on in order for frame generation is going to be in settings, display, graphics, and you'll want to head to change default graphics settings and make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Um, like this, essentially you'll have access to uh, frame, uh, excuse me, frame generation. So like that, it'll be enabled for you in the game. It might be disabled, but I actually also recommend changing it from auto to on. I felt like the game ran a little bit better when that was changed from auto. So that's what I have set under system. Um, one more thing we can look at is in gaming, um, make sure you have game mode turned on, um, and then game bar off and captures obviously turn that off as well. There's no reason to have any of that on unless you wanted to record via Windows. Other than that, I haven't actually tweaked with any of my uh, control panel settings. So we'll leave that as is. And then we will proceed to see over the next few days if there's any part or performance patches and if there's any changes that need to be made. If this helped you out, guys. Make sure you drop that like. And if you are enjoying Great Zone, make sure you drop that sub as I am doing my best to cover the game with guides and informative content such as this. Peace out, guys.